YouTube, it's your man BG Tech Life. And today, as you can see what we got on the desk, we got my 2020 MacBook Pro M1. And I just wanted to give y'all a review. And I'm not a laptop guy, but I'm a guy with an M1 Mac, and I've got some PC laptops, and I did previously, and I still do own a, a 2014 or 15 MacBook Air. Now, the thing about this device right here, man, is it is a great device. Um, now, let's talk about before I get into why it's so great. Let me let me pump my brakes a little bit. There's a couple things that I do want to talk about. Um, first of all, um, it's a great device, but this M1 processor, you have to be your workflow has to be a certain workflow to get the best out of it you know i learned that early on I, like i said i'm not a super super laptop guy i'm not on my laptop every day be honest with you but you have to know what you're looking for when you buy one of these m1 devices because it is certain software that is not optimized for so that may be something you want to watch out for it's optim what is optimized for it works lovely but what it's not optimized for, you can tell. You know, it, it's not the beast that you thought it was. So, what I, would, what I like to say is, just know what you're looking for when you pick one of these up. Because it may not be what you need. You know, you may need an Intel processor. You may need some type of other processing power to get what you want. But, if you, in a certain ecosystem and use a certain software it's, it's definitely a go now um get that out the way and the price um i feel like it could have been a little bit cheap i think out the door at the right thing i bought this macbook from best buy spent about 1300 on it it's a macbook pro and it's the base model this is definitely the base model um is a little bit more expensive than the MacBook Air, but it doesn't have that much more, pro it's not that much better. It has a fan and, you know, a couple other things like maybe this uh, track, this, this uh, track bar up here. But other than that, it doesn't have much more than the MacBook Air. So, but the price is definitely, the price difference is definitely there. So that's a little funny to me. But anyway, guys, um, about this laptop i love this laptop this is something that i always wanted to buy um i love this trackball up here i love using it i love um the keyboard i love the keyboard the key press on this uh macbook pro i know what some years they said butterfly keys and certain switches wasn't working well i love typing on this thing um i love i love when i when i reply to emails and do certain things i love to be on the laptop and i really like this laptop i like the size this is the uh 13 inch variant um just the perfect size guys i like the size i like the weight it's not too heavy it doesn't have a big uh print in 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 the book bag it's not taking up a lot of space it's it's not you know really weighing on me because i got a bigger 15 inch uh pc uh i got a 15 inch pc laptop and that thing is getting to be heavy guys it's getting to be heavy in the bag once you put a couple other things in the bag your bag is ridiculously heavy but with this i can roll with a smaller bag and roll a little bit more lightweight i definitely like this um as far as everything as far as my workflow though guys is i don't do a lot on this laptop like this cut now this part of the video could be a cry for help because I really don't utilize this laptop as much as I should for what I, the investment that I spent, the, money, the amount of money that I spent on this laptop is top tier for the amount of money that I spend on tech. So, you know, this costs more than all of my other tech, but I don't, I've, I've used it for emails, I use it for browsing the internet, I don't use it for, for video editing. I don't use it for video editing. 
And the reason I don't is because I have a, a 2020 iPad Pro, guys, and I had that before I had this laptop. So my flow, my workflow on my iPad Pro, I'm so in tune with that that I cannot, it's like I can't leave my iPad alone. You know, it's crazy. It's kind of backwards. I use my iPad to do the big stuff, for, especially for a YouTube channel, which is video editing and things of that nature. And I use this for the light stuff, like emails, browsing the internet, looking at different websites. I do. I will get on here now. I will say this. I did make bgtechlife.com, and I will. This is. I have to be on a laptop. I can't really do that on my iPad. I don't. I'm, I just wouldn't want to. I like using this laptop for that. So that's probably maybe one of the bigger projects that I'm using this laptop for. But it's so many things I feel like that I'm missing out on that I could be using this laptop for because I have it, you know, I have the good accessories, I have the the dongles, I got the MX Master, uh, three mouse, I got a UAG case, like I got it, I, I got the accessories and this is pretty tight, but I just don't have, I'm just not using it with the right workflow. Now that's no knock to this. You know, as far as the review goes, I'm just letting you guys know that right now, the the iPad is so good with my Luma Fusion that it makes me hard. It, it it's hard for me to find a place for my MacBook Pro. It's hard for me to find a place in my workflow unless I just force myself to edit on a MacBook Pro. And I need to probably. A little bit is on me because maybe I could use better to better editing software than Luma Fusion, even though I feel like I, my Luma Fusion game is not even optimized like it should be. So maybe it's a, also me need to experiment with other things. But um, this is a I love I love watching content on this thing. This thing has a beautiful retina display. I love pulling up youtube videos like when i really want to watch it, if i see a youtube video i love this display so much and the brightness is not all wet because i'm recording the display right now i love this display so much that when i really see a great video that i really want to sit and watch and pay attention to the whole video i'm going to pull this macbook out and um that's just that's just for some reason i just love that this screen and just the, this perfect 13 inch size i'm going to pull this macbook out um, when the unlocker drop a video, that's my guy. I, I gotta pull a MacBook out, and I really gotta turn. I gotta turn the resolution up, and I gotta sit and I gotta watch on my MacBook. Um, like I said, when I'm typing, when I'm typing the article to put on bgtechlife.com, or if I'm emailing the company, or I'm replying to emails. I gotta pull my MacBook out, you know. And I just feel like I should be doing more for the amount of money I spent because it's more expensive than anything else, you know. But at the same time, I probably have to now. I probably had to sit here and review myself as an editor and find software and really get into software and probably invest into some editing software specifically for this. You can put iPad uh, apps on the M1 device. Like I have LumaFusion on here, but LumaFusion is made for the iPad, and I probably need to upgrade my skills as far as the editor and you know really learn how to work with some new software to put this thing through its paces i've never had i've never heard this the fan on this device i have been you know i do put some big files on here i do consume a lot of content i do facetime i have multiple windows open um i do kind of put this machine through its paces outside of the audio and video editing um i do put this machine through its paces um because i do a lot so i might have a lot of apps open and even on the, I notice the difference between this and my PC. You know, this thing doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't, it it does not skip a beat. It has not skipped a beat on me. Uh, my PC at times will, I got to give it a minute. I got to stop touching everything. It frees up. I got to give it a minute or two to catch up before I start trying to click anything else. I know my PC when it's going down. But this, it does not do that. Um, I've been, it's been flawless since I had it. Um, I, it's really a. This is a tool, and you know, and this is. I will say this: this M1 MacBook Pro is definitely a tool, guys. It's definitely a tool in my toolbox, and I'm just an apprentice at this point, so I'm not putting it to work like it should be put to work. 
but it definitely has the potential guys to be you know everything you know it's, it's, it's everything that apple says it is you know just from the regular use just from using it just from beating it up and you know doing my uh some live streams and hosting zoom hosting and having my telegram open and having google chrome open and just i it's a difference between this and other laptops i haven't it, it, do, it doesn't skip a beat it hasn't scared me it hasn't made a, a stream freeze i haven't it doesn't i don't have bloopers you know i haven't tasked this enough where it's had a blooper yet and i love that about this thing guys now you know you're only getting these two ports on the side type c and um you can get your but uh, amazon they got a whole host of dongles i got you know a couple dongles myself and you know i'm not really you know not having just having two type c ports it's not really a drawback to me because i'm not where i'm cool with living that dongle life and i like the fact that it's got a physical headphone jack so if i want to do something with some audio well i can hook a dac up to it but like i like wire headphones still so i really think that's dope i like putting on wire headphones and i'm about to order a pair of audio technical wire headphones because i just feel like I want to get back. That's something that I want to get back to. I want to become more of an audio file. So I think that's dope. Also, as you can see, you got the keyboard with the backlight and then the trackball. And you got a gray screen. This is not a touch screen. And I don't need it to be a touch screen, guys. Like, I know that Apple's at the point where they're not. Apple's not going to kill off any of their devices. Apple's not going to make this an iPad. And they're not going to make an iPad. Uh, an iPad or MacBook. So this app was gonna give you a really solid laptop, but they're not gonna make it an iPad, guys. Just like they're gonna give you an outstanding iPad with the most power in the world, but they're not gonna make it a MacBook. Because in front of, you know, innovation, I don't know, I will say it like this, capitalism trumps innovation. You know, that's just what I believe. They won't, Apple won't innovate to the point where they uh, attack their own bottom line or shoot that stuff in the foot. But um, as far as this thing goes, this has always been, even when I bought my MacBook Air used, I was, you know, I was always looking at like, I just think MacBook Pros are just like the upper echelon, the top of the laptop world. You know, it's not, it's not a gaming laptop. You're not going to be playing Call of Duty on this, but just the, the productivity is just the most it's just the sleekest just one of the one of the gold standard pieces of tech that you can have for productivity and, it, and i mean this is this is it i believe in it i love it you know i just have to find more software and become sharp in my skills so i can put it all the way to use but yeah man i'm, I'm still loving my uh m1 2020 macbook pro and um, i'm just coming back at a couple months and just really revisiting this item that i purchased that i wanted to tell y'all about but it's your man bg tech life thanks for watching follow me on instagram and twitter bg underscore tech life it's your man bg i'm out peace